Frederick coming at you with another video. We are here for the grand reopening of Planet Hollywood. Long awaited, can't wait to see what they've done. It's opening in about two minutes. Got here a little early, wanted to watch these gates open here. There's so many entrances in, but I picked this one. So I want to see what the welcome is like, what the casino has to offer, what they changed, what they didn't and all the excitement that's gonna ensue, hopefully. For those of you new to the channel, again, my name's Broad Frederick, local Las Vegas-based photographer, videographer, cinematographer, and part-time philosopher. And I welcome you to the channel. Hope you enjoy this glorious 4K of Planet Hollywood. Feel free to like, subscribe, and share this video. That's beautiful, isn't it? If you noticed on the drive in, in the opening of the video, how I got here, I cut through Paris. That is the absolute quickest way to get in here. Never mind going through uh, from the other side. It's the absolute quickest. You turn into Paris, you keep going past the self park and you make a quick right and that's the local pro tip how to get into Planet Hollywood and Miracle Mile, which we're gonna do right after this. And I'm getting into the pool area. I have unrestricted access to the place today, and you're all coming along for the ride. Be right back. And here we go. Buffalo, as soon as we hit the door. <laughs> wow, how'd they get the money in the machine that fast? It's been open 30 seconds. Okay, so no fanfare at this entrance. There's the heart bar. I love that chandelier, that's pretty badass. So what entrance would have been the rah, rah, rah? Unless they didn't do rah 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 this morning. Huh. Let's make our way through here. Just met a subscriber from San Diego while I was waiting. That was an awesome experience. We did a little shout out. So let's see how that goes. The Cafe of Hollywood is open. You're open, correct? Yes, we are. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Happy to see you. Well, they're definitely open. Ubiquitous Starbucks is open. Hmm. Let's see what I missed and where I missed. I see a lot of older machines here. That's always cool. Oh, I remember the Spice Market Buffet. I used to love this buffet. I enjoyed this place specifically when... How you doing? I enjoyed this place tremendously when it was the Aladdin. They treated me like gold. Every time I was here, they invited me to stay. Every time I was here, they caught me food and beverage. It was just an amazing, amazing experience. Hopefully, Planet Hollywood follows suit. Good morning. I guess this is the entrance. They did the street side. Oh, let's walk out there real quick. I didn't want to do the street side, but we're doing it. Let's see what's up.
don't know if that was wholly necessary. <laughs> it's like a punctured eardrum. Ah, back inside. P.F. Chang's. Love me some General Cho's from P.F. Chang's. Checking out the machines, checking out the people. People are just diving into these machines. That's awesome. There is a myth that's been floating around town for like 50 years that when a casino opens, I mean, reopening is an absolute new thing, but when a casino opens, the machines are always looser. I don't know about all that. But they definitely have some older machines in here. Well, let's check out the crazy girls. Ladies. Yolos. <laughs> the pleasure pit. <laughs> We'll go around that way later. Oh, craps in here it used to be the best time ever. I'm gonna have to come back here, play some craps. It was like lampshade on the head time every time I was down here playing craps. This is a lively, lively place. They'd start out at on $5 tables and make their way to 10 and the crowd didn't budge. And then it'd be 25 by 11 on the weekend. Crowd didn't budge. They didn't have the, uh, oops, let's not go that way. They didn't have the craps tables that were like trampolines. So it was primo, the serious dice players. Earl of Sandwich. So to remind everyone, the casino is open 24 seven, but booking for rooms, they're only taking reservations on Friday, I think Thursday, Friday and Saturday. So basically just weekend reservations only until there's enough demand to support seven days a week. Place is looking good. Up there, there's so many secret entrances in here to get around to private areas. Up there used to be amazing, amazing private clubs. But this place is like the back cave. They have tons and tons of entrances most people don't even know about. So, on the opening fanfare, I give the place a 6 out of 10 so far. Buffalo! Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Great to have you back. Want to say hello to everyone, YouTube? Hello, everybody. Hello. Welcome to Planet. Yes. Thank you very much. Well, now they get a 7 out of 10. <laughs> Say hello to my viewers, friends, and fans. That gets you an extra point. Good on you. Wow, that's a nice sled right there. I don't remember seeing this. But not much fanfare, but plenty of people here. And like I said, they absolutely dove for the machines. People are playing. Okay, they got some newer machines, absolutely. A lot of the older machines. I've yet to see a poker machine, which is a trend. Okay, you can play some poker over here.
Well, I am back, and if you notice, we are now currently outside because I was politely asked to leave. They told me that YouTubers were not welcome inside, private videos not welcome inside, and those people in the background are the ones who told me. And they've already wrapped up. It's about five minutes. <laughs> wrapped up the whole red carpet deal and they said feel free to look around outside feel free to contact uh, their media department I spoke to the head of their media department for some authorized film of the inside hmm, dead skunk so that is that so I gotta say I'm pretty disappointed about the welcome there was nobody here that i recognize whatsoever from youtube or otherwise but like i said they put the kibosh on the glorious 4k so i'm gonna put it up anyway i'm gonna keep it up anyway and you'll have to make your own decision whether you're gonna be a patron of planet hollywood I don't think I will because that was a pretty unwelcoming situation in there. Like I said, they were fairly polite. Uh, you know, first uh, front level security got me <laughs> and then I spoke to the actual head of security who introduced me to the media department and they were just like, nope, you know, it's just our policy, no YouTube. Well, obviously, it's not a Caesars policy because I've been in a lot of Caesars entertainment properties and I've been welcomed. This is the first and only that said, no YouTubers, they want to control their image. But as I told them, they're sort of shooting themselves in the foot because I have more power to make or break than, you know, Channel 5 saying, ooh, look, we're at the grand opening that they wrapped up one minute after the first people walked in so we shall see uh, the place does look nice so I'm not gonna say no it was clean it was presentable obviously people are going in to see what they got going on I'll probably walk back in I'm gonna do the miracle mile unless someone puts the kibosh on that but I don't know what else to say about planet Hollywood except wasn't a smart choice on their part not having me in there. And on that note, Roar Frederick out.